Hi friends! Today we will learn more on the usage of comma. So let's start. Let's first revise what we learnt about the usage of comma in our previous assignment. When we list three or more than three things, we use commas to separate the initial words, and the conjunction and is used to separate but for the word in the series. For example, cricket, comma, football, comma, tennis and basketball are some of the most popular games. Here is another example. Lisa, comma, Sophie, comma, Rhea and Tia are my best friends. Olivia, comma, Will you join me for the dinner tonight? So, this is what we learned in our previous assignment. Now, let's learn more about the usage of comma. We use a comma to separate a clause that explains the subject. Miss Thames, comma, the president of our society, comma, is a very noble person. Miss Thames is the subject of the sentence and then is the clause that explains the subject, the president of our society. So, this clause is also being separated with a comma. Another example. Mr. Andrew, a renowned artist, is coming to our school function today. Here, Mr. Andrew is the subject of the sentence and is being separated by a comma. And then we have a phrase that is explaining the subject. A renowned artist is again separated by a comma. Is coming to our school function today. So, we separate a phrase or a clause that explains the subject by a comma. Olivia, you are looking extremely gorgeous. Here, the sentence is beginning with the name, separated by a comma, and next whole part of the sentence explaining about Olivia. So, it's separated by a comma. Olivia? Comma, you are looking extremely gorgeous. Based on what we have learned about the concept of comma, we have some sentences and we have to answer the question. I can't find my pen anywhere. Joy, your pen is with me. According to these sentences of the conversation between of Joy and Sam, who has Joy's pen? Sam has Joy's pen. Now here we have another conversation. I have many dogs. Steppo, your dog, is very naughty. Now whose dog is Steppo? It is Tia's dog. Now who is Steppo? Steppo is the name of a dog. How can we say that Steppo is a dog? It is because of the second comma in the sentence after the phrase, your dog. It means, Steppo, your dog. Your dog is a phrase that explains the naming word, Steppo. Steppo, your dog, is very naughty. It means, Steppo, is the name of the dog. Now here we have another conversation. I am going for swimming class. Sophie, my sister, will also go with you. Now the question is, who is Sophie? Sophie is Tia's sister. Who will go swimming with Rhea? Sophie will go for swimming with Rhea. Because we have a second comma in the sentence, Sophie, my sister, that means my sister is a phrase that's explaining Sophie. 
It means Sophie is the name of Tia's sister. As Tia says, Sophie, my sister, will also go with you. That means Tia is saying, my sister Sophie will go with you. And you refers to Ria here. Let's have a look at another conversation. I am waiting for Mr. Smith for a long time. Tim replies, he is there. Finally, your wait is over. Now the question is, whose wait is over? Sam's wait is over. Now here we have another conversation. Dylan, your ball is with me. Whose ball are we talking about? Dylan's ball. Now here we have a sentence. Max, the most intelligent boy in our class, was absent today. Who was absent today? Max, who is the most intelligent boy in the class? Max is the most intelligent boy in the class. So friends, these are some of the ways to use commas in the English language. We will learn some more rules of comma usage in higher grades. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.